Hello, and welcome back to Wells Family Journey. I'm Damien. So, it was a nice day outside today here in Lacey, Washington. And I think it got up to about 62, 63 degrees, which is unheard of. But, today's topic is going to be about HOAs. So, if any of y'all that own a house and are part of a covenant or HOA, you know what probably what this vlog is going to be about. So, I'll see you in a couple seconds. And well, let's get to it. Welcome back. All right. So I was able to have the day off today for my morning job and my, and my night job. So I decided to do some, uh, some upkeep around the outside of the ho of the house, excuse me, nose is itching, around the outside of the house, uh, you know, cut the grass, uh, clean the, the debris off the street, just pretty much general upkeep and cleaning of the outside of my house. Now, if any of y'all have known me for a while, I have been fighting my HOA for years. I am so sick of this HOA. It's ridiculous. It's like, it seems like every year I'm getting a letter from the HOA talking about the yard's not upkept or I don't know. My, my hose wasn't wound up. So they're giving me a, uh, a warning for my hose not being wound up and put away. It's ridiculous. You know, HOAs, it's killing me. If I would have known about HOAs before I bought my house, I would not have probably bought this house in this neighborhood and found a different neighborhood. So, excuse me if I'm kind of sweating in here. It's hot. I did open up a window <laughs> over here on my right hand side. And, but I am also drinking a whiskey sour, my favorite alcoholic drink. So this is, it's my day off. I'm, I'm trying to relax. This is my second one, by the way. <laughs> So this is my second one, and I'm trying to relax on my day off. So, excuse me. I'm not going to keep you too long. So, I've been fighting with my HOA for years, off and on. And it was my day off, so I was like, you know what? Once again, this year, let me get a jump on my winter cleanup. Because here in Washington, although we don't get a lot of snow, we do get rain all the time. And... You can't cut the grass in the rain. If you do, you probably mess up your lawnmower. I'm having some camera difficulties. Keep shutting off me. So if you have a riding lawnmower, it was probably even worse. It might mess something up. I don't know. So I got to jump on my my yard maintenance. And, you know, I was just cleaning the street, cleaning the driveway. I, I cut the front yard. I looked at the backyard and I was like, it's not too bad. I'm going to leave it for another couple of weeks. It's not too, too growth, too much growth back there. My dogs are the only ones that usually use the backyard during the winter. And so, yeah. So a couple weeks ago, a uh, family friend that moved out the neighborhood said that the house that she's renting out got an HOA letter talking about the moss on top of the roof. And I was like, well, I didn't get one. I said, but I have moss on my roof for about two years now that I do need to get off, get off, but man, if my roof cleaning is a, as much as a yard, making my yard stay green, my grass stay green, which is about two to three thousand dollars, it's ridiculous. I was like, okay, I'm, I'll look into it. So probably clean my my roof is going to be about five hundred to a thousand dollars just to clean the roof of my my three story house. So I think tomorrow. Before I go to work, I'm going to uh, fire up my, my DJI Mavic drone. No, I'm not endorsed by DJI, but I do enjoy their products. And take a look on my roof just to see what exactly is the problem areas on top of my roof before my HOA decides to send me a letter about the moss on my roof. Because, heaven forbid, you know, they, for some odd reason, they don't like my house. I'm constantly getting letters about this or that. My yard, my grass is not green enough. I need to water my yard. And let me tell you, 
when I went by what the HOA said and, you know, water my grass on the days that uh, the city of uh, Thurston County or Lacey, Washington, whatever you want to call it, allows me to water my yard for my house number, my water bill went up $130 more a month. That's ridiculous. So I was paying but over two yeah over two hundred dollars a month just to water my grass that that is uncalled for if you ask me so hoas and covenants yes they're good and sometimes they're bad you know it's like i have a plot of land on the side of my house that hadn't been taken care of for like two and a half three years that i lived in this house and i'm like I started taking care of it. I started using it. I, I was using it for my Halloween decorations. I would like push my Halloween decorations out to my yard and that plot of land. And I was using it. And, you know, later, later find out when I went to install my fence and I got my fence, my, excuse me, my property line from the city of Lacey, I realized that my front yard is not that big. And, the uh, the ground that's on the side of my house is considered city property and it's like a wildlife refuge. So no houses are going to be built on it. And, you know, it's basically just kept there for deers and birds and wildlife to, to, to habitat in. So, but my HOA was trying to tell me that that was my job to upkeep that plot of land that was on the side of my house. And I told him, I'm like, well, I said, by the city limits, this is where my, my property line ends. This is what I'm going to take care of right here and right here. So if y'all try to write me up for anything else, I said, I'm going to take you to court. You know, and it's ridiculous. I try so many times to contact my HOA in years before and was not getting answers on telephones, wasn't getting any answers in emails. Uh, I sent a fax to them one day and nothing, nothing. I'm just like, why is it so hard? But they're so quick and easy to take, take our money every single month for the HOA fees and dues, which I, I had to get on them about that too, because hold on one second, because the, the maintenance crew that they, they hired now they've had like three or four maintenance crews since We've been living in this house in 2013, three to four. Man, that is ridiculous. But the maintenance crews thought that uh, the area that HOA started was further down. I'm like, uh, no. Uh, where I live, the very first house where this area starts is my house. Mine is, my house is the first house built for this, this neighborhood. I said, not where, not down a little bit, you know, maybe what, 100 feet further down where the fence is, the wooden fence that they put up. It doesn't start there. Neighborhood does not start there. Neighborhood starts at my house. So y'all need to take care of that empty plot that's on the side of my house. You need to take care of the, the little section tree area that's along the road. You need to clean the road. I said, that doesn't fall under me. You know, I had, to, I had to constantly argue with my HOA, which is located in Seattle. Oh my God. It's, that's like almost an hour away. I'm like, why is the HOA located in Seattle? That's not in Lacey. But yet y'all want to give citations talking about, oh, our surveyor drove around and your house was unkept. But oh, hold on. I know I'm rambling, but I this year so far, I have not gotten any kind of citation from the HOA. Last year, year before, maybe a year before that, yes, I did. But it was for stupid things. Like I said, uh, it's about my garden hose not being wound up. I'm like, give me a break. <laughs> uh, my trash cans uh, was too prominent in my front yard. Come on. If I put my trash cans by the side of my garage door, really? 
you you, you want to somebody want to complain about that? Do I do I need to hide my trash cans in my backyard behind my house? Y'all are ridiculous. And I got the window open and train is coming, so forgive me for that one if, if it's too loud, you know. And another another thing that they tried to give me on one year was uh, yeah, uh, my my grass wasn't green enough. So for they came up to my house and got my full size candy bars I was giving out for a couple of years. I bet they sure did. I bet they weren't complaining then, but I don't know. You know, I'm all about keeping peace and trying to stay calm around people, but I don't know. HOAs and covenants. I think we can we can do without them. You know, I feel that as neighbors in a neighborhood. If you have a gripe or complaint about somebody, you know, you should easily be able to, one, leave a, a, a letter, you know, a very respectful, respectable letter at their door, on their door, you know what I'm saying? And, or ring the doorbell and talk to them face to face. You know, I, I just don't understand it. I don't see what, why it's so hard that people have to, have HOAs or go go to an HOA and complain about something rather than talking to a homeowner that's been living there for five plus years. This will be our what eighth year here? I don't know. I can't do math on my in my head, but 2013 to 2021. What is that? Eight years, seven years, eight years? You know, but people, you know, I'm just that that strange neighbor that guy on the street or the Halloween guy, you know, which I don't mind the Halloween guy. I kind of like that, but it's just, you know, it's a quiet house. My house is a quiet house. Don't bother nobody. We're not blasting music, you know, until one, two, three o'clock in the morning on weekdays and, and, and weekends and holidays. We are a very, we keep to ourselves. The only loud noise coming from my, my house area it's probably our dogs in our gated backyard so i don't know that's my two cents on hoas and covenants if you got anything to say or some info that might be able to help me out please please comment leave me a comment you know uh like and subscribe leave me a comment help me out uh, give me some uh, tips and info on what I can do other than move and find a, another house that's not part of HOA. But you know what? At this point in my life, I'm done buying houses. This is the third house I, I've owned. And so far, houses have been nothing but headaches for me. Money and headaches. So is it? You know, chasing that American dream. Was it worth buying this house? Or should I have just rented my whole entire life and never owned a house? You know, ups and downs in owning a house and renting a house. I understand that. But hey, not not to make this uh, video any longer. Please like, subscribe. Hit that like button or that dislike button. You know, just let me know that you're you're listening. You feel me on a couple of these com or, uh, videos. And as always, don't forget to help somebody out today. Find somebody to help, okay? Be good, be kind, and I'll see you on next video. Thank you for sticking around and watching.